Our Rilwan Belogan is live outside Milne Elementary School with what we know about today's announcement. Rilwan, good morning. Hey, good morning. It's National Lead Poisoning Prevention Week and the coalition of groups here hoping HISD will make some purchase purchases in which they say will allow the district to reduce the amount of lead levels found in area schools. Lead exposure to children can cause slow growth, behavior and learning problems, hearing loss, among others, according to the Environmental Protection Agency. Three Texas groups, the Texas Public Interest Research Group, Environment Texas Research and Policy Center, and the Coalition of Community Organizations claim in 2016, 216 schools out of the 257 tested by Houston ISD had at least one tap where lead was detected. 57 schools in the district have 10 or more taps with traces of lead above one parts per billion. Milne Elementary School showed contamination in 44 of their 50 tested water sources, the most in the district at the time, according to the groups. The EPA finds no safe blood lead level in children has been identified. As a way to protect children, the coalition says HISD should proactively replace all fountains with water bottle hydration stations equipped with filters that remove lead. This solution, they claim, eliminates one common source of lead and captures lead coming from plumbing or pipes. Now the district or the groups rather say the district can fund these new water fountains by using money previously passed by Congress during the height of the coronavirus pande pandemic by using those passes spending bills to purchase these new water fountains. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News.